hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is blessing thank you for clicking on this video if you're famous subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by thank you for coming around thank you for always watching my videos well, i'm a mom of a cute little boy um he's four months old now and i'm just gonna be sharing with you things i actually used during the newborn phase and things i'm still using up to now so yeah if there's something interested in please keep watching <music> So diapers and wipes are things that I think that are really really essential. Don't be limited to brands based on their names. Try out different brands. We've tried several wipes. Some do not have a lot of water in them. Some are dry. Some you cannot even like dispense them easily. So we've tried several. Just stick to any brand you think is comfortable. So we have this um Huggies. We've tried Angel. We've tried Muffins. We've tried uh, Pampas. We've tried different types of types of wipes. So just be sure to get the kind of wipes that is convenient for you. Another essential is the diaper organizer. It's more like a container, typically any container or a basket or something that you keep your essential changing products. You don't want to be running around the house looking for wipes, diapers, changing pad, pseudo cream, everything where your baby crying. So you need to have everything organized in one space so i have a basket a plastic black basket where i keep everything okay moving on to pseudo cream newborns have rashes when not properly managed so my baby is four months old and he has never had a rash he has never had diaper rash because we've been using pseudo cream pseudo cream is a product i was using even before i gave birth um so that's what i use for my baby i recommend it because it keeps your baby like smooth no rashes um, and it's also very affordable and this one i'm using i think i got for two five um yeah so another thing i swear by like i literally cannot go a day without using this product is my changing mat i got this changing mat before i gave birth and i really use it i use it every day it is easy to carry it is also easy to clean you just need to wipe it down you're good it's not heavy i like the style it's just like your wallet is foldable so this is what it looks like like it's so small you would not even know that this is a changing pad um the diaper bag we have and the baby skincare products set we got also came with um, different portable changing pads one of has like four minutes i don't know the name of the product the name is written here it's a chia C H I E E A. That's a product. It looks like a wallet with a strap to hold it on. We've been using this every day since we came out from the hospital. Um, yeah, I think it's so useful. It is an essential. Like you know, when you're trying to change your baby, the mess could go everywhere. So with this changing pad, even if there's a mess, there's an accident, you can easily clean it up with a wipe, and yeah, we're good to go. It doesn't make everywhere dirty know what i'm talking about yeah another thing i, I would highly highly recommend when it comes to feeding your baby is an electric breast pump so my baby is four months old and i've been exclusively breastfeeding my baby this pump is something that has helped me a whole lot because i express milk i do not have to be the one to feed my baby all the time so i could express milk and grandma can feed the baby daddy can feed the baby my sister can feed the baby and it has Oh my goodness, I cannot emphasize this enough. Imagine if I didn't have this breast pump, like, what would I be doing all the time? I'll be with the baby breastfeeding. At least I can sleep while somebody else nurse the baby. Like, um, another thing that goes hand in hand with a breast pump is a pumping bra. Oh my goodness, this actually changed my life. Um, when I had my baby and I started using the breast pump, it was an electric breast pump, so it was not like a manual breast pump that I would do manually. So just imagine me sitting all day with a breast pump holding them on my chest like i could literally do nothing else with my hands my husband will have to feed me because i was busy holding the breast pump like it was such a pain i would hold it not like i was feeling pain using the breast pump but i would, I would just be there like i could literally do nothing or i'll hold the pump like i was holding it with my hands and it was so uncomfortable doing that then i discovered the pumping bra i love this bra so much because it doubles as a nursing bra so you can either use it as a pumping bra or a nursing bra and the reason i love it so much is you just pop the bottles in there hands free and you are good to go like you could literally be eating and pumping at the same time you could be on your phone and pumping at the same time 
when I got this bra, I was so happy. I pumped every day and having to hold that, I did not look forward to pumping at all because of the stress. But when I got the bra, let me show you. So this is what the bra looks like. It's just like a regular bra. <laughs> a regular bra, but there is nothing regular about this bra. It is so it's very very stretchy i got it in a size medium it has these um straps one two three four it also comes with an extension so if you know um, when you give birth you are losing weight and gaining weight and all of that so you keep going um from size to size so it's very adjustable and it has an opening that holds the bottle of course you just uh, put the bottles here and then another thing i love about it is the fact that it can double as a Ta -da! as a nursing bra yeah you can double as a nursing bra so you can just nurse your baby and after nursing you can still pump at the same time oh well i'm good um yeah so another thing that i think is also very good is a nursing bra like i had a doctor's appointment this one time and i did not need nursing I had nursing bras but i just felt oh I'm sure we'll just go in and out. We don't need to feed the baby. We went for immunization and my baby was crying. But I had to just breastfeed my baby and I was not wearing a, a nursing bra. So it wasn't very easy. I had to lift and raise and you know it was not comfortable. But whenever I have my nursing bra on, I just strap up the bra, breastfeed the baby and we're good. That is when I don't have a bottle. So I think a nursing bra is a is an essential another thing you need to have is the hot water bottle see we're in nigeria there's usually no light to for seven so i have this hot water bottle it's amazing i use it for storing water i boil water and keep it and it lasts literally for 48 hours yes i'm telling you take my word for it take it to the farm take it to the market take it anywhere you, the water will last for 48 hours and it will still be hot Yes, this product is amazing. I love it. So when I, I need hot water to either warm up the bottles when I'm trying to feed my baby or to wash the bottles or to bait my baby with warm water if there's no light and I don't want to go and you know start boiling water with all of that. So I have the hot water bottle. I think it's about 1.2 liters thereabouts. I'm not sure. This is it. So I showed this in my um vlog where I went to the market. Come get um baby items with me and I got it. I got this bottle. I um, actually underestimated it, but I just got it because you know you need the flask and all of that. But I'm so glad I got this brand. The name is okay. The name is here. Yeah. I don't want to remove this strap because I like using it with the strap. I'll I'll have it on the screen. So this is it. It's a big bottle. There's water in it right now, and the water can be warm for 48 hours, and it's amazing. Honestly, you don't have to think about water tap all the time because you need hot water all the time babe. i need hot water all the time i need it to heat up the baby's food he could be eating and in 10 minutes he's tired i pop it back into the fridge he wants to eat again i bring it out so there's always hot water like there is always hot water you need it if you don't want to get a bottle warmer i know there are bottle warmers that can just warm the bottle um yeah it's so easy i i you need this Another thing I think is an essential is a diaper bag. We have two diaper bags and it's so easy to carry on. Like I packed the two diaper bags, they are always ready. So if I need to go somewhere, I need to go with a big bag. I just carry the big bag and put the clothes. If I need a smaller bag, because it has a smaller version of the bag, you just put your things and go. You can get any design, any, any style. If you want a backpack, if you want a single strap, Wherever, but a diaper bag is an essential. Like when we are going to church, when we are going to doctor's appointment, when we are going anywhere, you need a diaper bag. Sis. Um, another thing I forgot to mention when it comes to feeding is the nursing pillow. A nursing pillow is an essential, especially during the newborn stage because the baby is so tiny. You cannot literally hold your baby to breastfeed all day because you, your hands will hurt. So the nursing pillow sounds like a table, sort of, to balance the baby. Um, put the pillow around your waist, put the baby on the pillow and just comfortable um, when breastfeeding the baby I think it's an essential, you should get it you can get any brand you want but I recommend um, getting a nursing pillow it is so essential especially during that newborn stage okay? um, but of course now my baby is 4 months, he has grown out of the pillow he's a big boy now but, uh, anyway, so yeah, a nursing pillow is so essential uh, another thing I think is very important for you to have is a nursing pad. I got these reusable nursing pads um, before I gave birth and 
the pain is tend to leak out me especially when you're not breastfeeding your baby also for you not to stain your clothes or everywhere with breast milk you have to post the pads breastfeeding journey has not been easy it, it wasn't easy when we started but it, it has gotten a lot easier now and yeah i've gotten the hang of it i'm so excited I, i'm really happy that i'm breastfeeding my baby because if you look at the price of formula in the market in the market it is not cheap so if you can breastfeed please breastfeed your baby okay yeah um, I'll, of course, pediatricians recommend the breast your baby to sleep this up for six months, which is like I'm trying to do. It's not, it's not be easy, honestly. Sometimes I'm breastfeeding and I'm like, <laughs> I'll call my mom, like, Mommy, I'm parenting. She'd be like, No, you need to eat, you need to be strong, you need to do this, you need to do that, you, need, you can do this. And if you can't, please just stop. You've tried, it's not easy. I'm a black. I'm fainting and, and you hear things like boys can suck. It is true, it is so true. Like, my baby is not. Bless his heart, he's, he's eating very well and I'm happy about that but sometimes I'm like oh, I'm seeing dog, dog, dog but so another thing that has actually helped us a lot are breast milk storage bags like after pumping um, I usually pour the milk into breast milk storage bags these are not reusable so they are disposable in storage bags so when you store the milk in the bag it's easy to pop in the freezer and reuse like you cannot get so many bottles like you can only get as many bottles so imagine having like 10 bottles and your baby will probably not take all the bottles um where do you keep your milk when the bottle are full exactly so i usually keep mine in the storage bag and i can pop it into the freezer and whenever the baby is ready to eat i pour it and give it to the baby so um Breast milk storage bag has been so helpful. You don't even have to wash it, you don't have to sterilize it. After you use it, you just discard it. That's the good thing about it because nobody got time to be washing so many bottles. Washing bottles alone is enough stress on its own, and having to wash more bottles because it's storing milk, nah, 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 bam, we don't have that time. So once we use it, we throw it away. Another thing we've used so much are bulk clothes. Bulk clothes, yeah, they are like little clothes. Um, you can use to clean your baby's drool or spill up or whatever. Like now, my baby's sitting, so he's drooling a lot. There's saliva everywhere, so we need those clothes to kind of like clean. Let me show you what it looks like. It's one of it. So we've got different types. Um, just to clean up the drool. Um, also we need boots. Boots are so important because after feeding your baby, you need to keep the baby um firm for like not firm like upright for like. 20 minutes imagine feeding your baby for 20 minutes and keeping the baby fair for 20 minutes your hands and then if you can't do that and you have to lay the baby somewhere the baby will have to like you know throw up um so we need beads so we have different type of beads we have some really cute ones i love using them they are triangular in shape and i love them so any functional bead could do they don't have to be triangular they don't have to be stylish but you know they should be cute so this is one this is one of the bead so we have different types of beads we use um, another thing that i think is very essential is a playing mat we have um this playing mat it's very affordable i think we got it for like three thousand three five there about and they are they are so comfortable like i even lie on it sometimes because it's so comfortable i just put my baby on the playing mat especially during tummy time it has really helped him a lot keeping him on the mat during tummy time had really um, helps to strengthen his neck. He likes to play on the mat. He rolls on it. The mat is not as flat as this um, mat we see around this prayer mat, but it's a bit thick. So the mat has really helped a lot. I think it's an essential. When I leave my baby on the sofa, I, I'm afraid he, he may fall off. Like he's rolling now. Like even when he was not rolling, I'm only like, oh my god. And then I can't leave him on the bed all the time. So leaving him on the floor on the mat is actually good. Yeah, that is what I do. So I think the mat is an essential piece. It has been an essential for me, like a play mat or something. We play all the time on the mat. Yeah, he can roll, he can do whatever he wants to do on the mat. And it's firm. It's not like leaving him on the foam or on the bed. But I like to leave him on the mat. Another thing I think you need as an essential as zip up sleep wears. Um, I did not really know about this on time. I got the ones that have strap. If you watch my body, um the video i'll link that video somewhere because i keep making reference to it if you watch that video i got those um snap the ones that have snap 
um, and they were not really easy. Of course, removing the snaps were easy, like pa 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 pa, you remove it, but pinning it back in the middle of the night trying to change baby's diapers, they were not the easiest things, of course. But um, when I have the zip up ones, just zip up and down, it's so easy. So those sleepwears are comfortable, especially the ones that have pillows. You don't have to worry about socks. But imagine just wearing that full one piece. And do you know that there, there is one that can cover the hands as well? So that serves as your mitting, your top, your bottom, your socks, all in one. Saves you lots of time. You see, that is superb. So if you, if you are in the market trying to get those kind of things, you just get one that has zip and covers your hands and foot and everything. And you're good because baby is not going anywhere. Nobody has time to put him baby in fashionable clothes when he's going to be at home all day. Those clothes are comfortable. They are sleepless. What is baby doing all day? Sleeping. So yeah, Huda towels are essential for me because you make my baby's hair it's so full the huda towel has really been an essential for me i love it once he takes he finished taking his bath put on the baby and i like to um, use that movie to clean his hair sort of um yeah so something else i think that has be, really been an essential for us the infantino baby carrier i mentioned this in my other video i used it a lot when my baby was a newborn because i could not back the baby the african way so i was always carrying him in front yeah, even up to now, I can still carry him in the baby carrier, although he can still go around my back. When I'm at home, I put him around my back, of course, but I don't want to be bougie or fancy. I want to go out. I'm going to put him in my baby carrier because that's, that's just what I'm going to do. So the baby carrier has been so essential. It was so essential, especially at the newborn stage, zero to three months. It's four months now. I still use it, but yeah, that's yourself the baby carrier. The brand that is with it, continue and I swear by it, it's more difficult to use. And for more those ones, I see a lot of baby carriers these days you have to cross it around your neck looking at it it looks so stressful but this one put your hands pin it around your waist put your baby off you go um yeah so get yourself a baby carrier it is so important another thing that has been a lifesaver for me has been a car seat see get yourself a car seat but the car seat we got actually comes with a stroller see i'm gonna do a different video of things i got and never used because that stroller <coughs> anyway the car seat has been a lifesaver for us. Once we're in the car, put the baby in the car in the car seat and he sleeps off literally. My baby sleeps off in the car seat. He loves it. It's so comfortable. When I get home, I don't remove the baby from the car seat. I carry the car seat to the house so that the baby will not wake up because I know what it will take if he wakes up. Try to put him back to sleep, it's not going to be easy. So I literally carry the car seat. We carry the car seat. To the house and when we are going out we carry the car seat out of the house like it it is so comfortable for him he loves the car seat he loves it so much for you i see a lot of strollers these days that could convert to a car seat i love it. i think that's a genius idea it's a car seat and it's, it's a convertible car seat and it could be transformed into a stroller which is i love that that is superb if i saw that i would have gotten that but yeah get a safe car seat it's so com convenient another thing i think is an essential is a baby thermometer we got this thermometer before i gave birth and it has really been useful so whenever i think my baby's temperature is hot or is high i just use the thermometer to check his temperature so instead of rushing to the hospital or calling someone have a thermometer at home you just check his temperature if he has a fever or something especially during um, immunization after they come out from immunization they are very um if we get a fever um yeah so that is has been an essential another thing that i did not know was an essential is um baby paracetamol drops is that what it's called yes during immunization um baby could get fever and the pediatrician would advise to give like a few drops of that um paracetamol so it's essential to actually have it at home uh, when we went to our six weeks immunization i didn't have it a baby had a fever and imagine they don't have fevers immediately you give them immunization it's usually late at night so say 10 p.m 11 p.m if my baby had a fever i could not i don't know if it's a fever his body was really hot i checked his temperature it was quite high i couldn't rush up to go get that um paracetamol drops i think i'll show you what it is um i'll put a picture or a video of it somewhere so i couldn't rush up to go get it because it was really late at night thankfully by the morning uh, i mean joy comes in the morning he was good his temperature came back to normal but i couldn't sleep that night i, would, I was watching he's comfortable but i think it's very essential to have that process of mode work at home just in case um you may not use it of course the pediatrician advice if he doesn't have temperature please don't use it um especially if you're exclusively breastfeeding so i only use it when 
we had a fever and that's just the only time I used it and it's something you should always have at home so I'm glad I don't have it at home even though I don't for the bank it's so inexpensive so even if you have it at home it doesn't cost much i think i got it for like 350 or 400 naira thereabouts so having it at home whether you use it or you don't use it it's better to have it at home yeah it's better safer sorry another thing i think you should have is baby comb or baby brush my baby's hair is so full and i got a set of brush you would not believe it so my baby was a month old he could no longer use the set of combs anymore he used this wide tooth comb that is what he used on his hair his hair is so cool i'll insert a picture of my baby's hair is has lots of hair so it's good to have different sizes of combs like some of the sets of comb i bought i never use them because once i just saw the comb i saw my baby hair i'm like nah that comb is going to my baby's hair because they were just too small so it's good to have a variety of sizes so that you know you don't know if your baby will come out hairy or not too hairy but yeah that is it i'm glad i got the variety so at least i could start from the wider tooth before i graduated to get it a different comb entirely a different set entirely because my baby hair was so cool anyway that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a thing or two so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click the like button subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed um leave a comment share this video with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye